Hey y'all, this is Andrea and this is What's in My Mailbox. This has been a really um, overwhelming week book-wise. I've gotten tons and I'm really happy but also <laughs> I'm trying to figure out when I'm going to read all these. Um, the first book is an e-book. It is called Cicada by Belle Whittington looks like a pretty interesting book. Um, I'm going to be reading that in the next few weeks. The next book is Half Blood by J.L. Armantrout, um, Jennifer Armantrout. And I received this from um, the book Kitty blog tour. Um, I actually have to pass it on later today, so I'm kind of bummed about that because I really liked it. So I'll probably buy it when it comes out. But um, so thanks to Beth Zeta from Book Kitty Club, um, blog for including me in this because I I really liked it and it's fun um, to be able to kind of join along in a blog tour and um, kind of compare reviews. The next book is Forever by Maggie Steve Otter um, and I received that um, from Ruby at Ruby's Reads. Um, she had a giveaway um, I think for 500 followers and that's a book that I won from her. This book, I actually kind of forgot that I had um, won this because it's been like a couple months ago but this is Unholy Ghosts by Stacia Kane, and um, I won this from a giveaway at Candace's book blog, and this was sent by the publisher Del Rey. So thanks for that. Looking forward to reading it. Never read any of her books. The next book is a book that I think a lot of people have been after. It's an arc of Daughter of Smoke and Bone, and isn't that gorgeous? I won this from Sasha Nim at Sasha Nim's book blog. Um, it's a really um, cool blog to follow. So I'm um, really excited to read that. The next book, the next two books are actually from Harper Teen. And um, my contact at Harper Teen has been really awesome to me. Um, just basically lately whatever I've asked for he's been like sure so um, I owe them a big thank you. This book is A Beautiful Dark by Jocelyn Davies. Gorgeous book. It looks really good. Can't wait to read it. Um, and the next one from Harper Teen is Carrier of the Mark. And this is by Lee Fallon. And she's a great person to follow on Twitter. She's really cool, really funny. Um, and I'm really excited to read that and to let Lee know what I think. The last two books are books that I bought for myself. And One Grave at a Time by Janine Frost. My love for this series knows no bounds. I mean, I own every book that she's written. I am a rabid Janine Frost fan. I love Cat and Bones. They are my favorite couple. And you know a true Janine Frost fan if you can say chapter 32 and they know what you mean. So if any of you know what I mean when I say chapter 32 of book two, you're a real fan. Just thinking about that makes me need to take a cold shower. The last book is Bloodlines by Rochelle Mead. If I can get my finger out of the way, you can see Adrian's face. There. We're really excited to read this. I'm a big Rochelle Mead fan. I've read all the Vampire Academy books. Um, a lot of people were like, tied in knots over um, should Rose pick Dimitri or Adrian. I wasn't. I always wanted her to be with Dimitri. I didn't care if he was a bad vampire. I hope you guys have read the books or I've just totally given something away. Sorry. Um, I don't... I, I, I never 
had a doubt who I wanted Rose to be with. And I, I was so focused on them, focused on the whole um, plot line surrounding them that I didn't, I mean, I liked Sydney, but she wasn't like someone that I was all worried about how she was going to end up. So I didn't focus a lot on Adrian and Sydney, um, but I'm really excited to read this and see if I can um, get involved in their world. And I hear that Rose and Dimitri make an appearance, so I hope that's true. Really excited to read this. So, this has been what's in my mailbox. Um, wish me luck on reading all this because this is a ton of good stuff. And if you will leave me a link, I will come and look and see what's in your mailbox. Bye!